Uh, Nathan, you ready? So he's your presenter I'm for ready. the day. Please, please give Nathan a hand. Am I good? Am I on the mic? All right. How's everybody doing today? Good. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about Facebook and YouTube. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go live properly on Facebook as well as how to post an actual ad on Facebook, not just a boosted post. And then I'm also going to jump into YouTube and show you guys how to upload on YouTube. And if you guys think that there's not any chance for you, I was checking the other day, there's a like no competition on YouTube, in my opinion, in Austin. If you're looking to do videos about like neighborhoods or something like that, there's plenty of room for you. So before we get started, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about consistency and persistence because without this, you're just dead in the water. So I know a few of you raised your hand. You said you were using Facebook and YouTube in your business. My question, follow-up question to that is how often? Because a lot of people say, I do it, and then you go look and they post something once a month. You're not going to get results from that. Okay. So this is a disclaimer that we always use at All City. And the, the important thing here is at the bottom, the bottom two lines. All business entails risk as well as massive and consistent effort and action. If you're not willing to accept that, then none of the tools will work for you. We see this all the time. I've worked with agents for a very long time. I've run postcard campaigns for them for farming and it never fails. After one month, they call up and they say, this isn't working. And I tell them, well, don't tell that to Best Buy and Bed Bath & Beyond because I'm certain those billion dollar companies would be disappointed to know that you have all the answers and direct mail doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work again is just people are not, they're not consistent and they're not persistent at all with it. It takes time to do branding and to get things in motion and get it working. So a little bit about me. I was born and raised in Austin, Texas. I know I look very young, but I have been in real estate for 11 years. I got into real estate before I could even drink, which was no fun because there's lots of events to go to as a realtor. Um, but for the past eight years, I've specialized in lead generation and helping brokers and teams grow their back in business. I helped one of the, what is now one of the largest teams in Austin, and now they're growing throughout the nation. I was on the ground floor with them, helped them get started. Um, in that time, I've also had the advantage to coach and train with some of the top teams in the nation, um, as well as I'm wearing my 10X ambassador pin. Does anybody know who Grant Cardone is? Yeah, got a few people. I became a 10X ambassador. You all have to look him up. I have a chef pitch crank card on. So, <laughs> consistence and persistence. This, guys, I'm going to drive this home like nobody's business before I get started. I promise you I'm going to show you how to run a Facebook ad and do all of that. But again, without this, you're dead in the water. So what can you do today to be consistent and persistent? It takes changes in your actual life to make this happen, daily tasks. Otherwise, you're gonna wake up every morning, fall in the same trap as everybody else. You're not gonna know what to do. So I like to say it starts at home. Wake up every day before the sun. How many people got up before the sun today? Now truly, because the sun didn't come out today, you actually <laughs> got up before the sun, okay? Do this every day, and I promise you, you'll start to see changes. If you start doing these tasks, you'll start to see changes in your business. One of the things I like to do, I like to wake up around 5 a.m. every day. I like to read for 30 to 45 minutes. Um, right now, I'm reading an actual book. I do prefer audiobooks because I, uh, I don't read. I like to be read, too. Um, I write down my goals every single day in the morning and at night. And then before I go to bed, I also write down my successes for the day. These can be little simple things that you do throughout the day. It doesn't have to be I landed a new client. It can be something as simple as I woke up before the sun today. Get in the habit of writing down those little successes in your life. And then I also write down what I was grateful for. Um, as far as goals go, I'm like very outlandish on my goals. I set big, big, big long-term goals. One of my goals right now is to help 100 million people grow their business. I have no idea how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to make it happen. The other thing that I like to do is hang out with my dog, Boone. I like to do something that is not monetary-wise, um, something that money can't buy. And so for me right now, that is our child. And so I like to hang out with him. And yeah, um, don't let that fool you. He is very lazy. Um, 
All right, so write your goals every day. Make sure your house and your personal items are well taken care of. Your car, your house. Every day before we go to bed, our house is clean. Every morning when we wake up, we make our bed. This may all sound like just very simple stuff, but I'm telling you, if you start implementing these things, it's going to make a difference in your life. At any given time, Dathan knows this because he's popped by my house quite a few times. You can come over to my house and I'm not scrambling to put stuff away. If your home is not well taken care of and your car not well taken care of, I can guarantee you your business is probably not well taken care of. Your CRM is probably a mess. You're probably not doing the daily tasks that you need to be doing. So determine your personal core values and live by them. I'm actually going to show you guys my core values. One of the things that I've learned over the years is that I started paying attention and everybody that I knew that was extremely successful either had core values that they personally live by or their business had core values that they personally live by. So I want to encourage you guys to take time and write down your core values and live and die by them. Next step is get an accountability partner that does at least one through six and or one through three and then I'm about to put another one up on here. I want to talk to you guys about accountability partners. Um, I know Jax, you do accountability. So when you get an accountability partner, my suggestion is to either find somebody that's not an agent, somebody outside of real estate, find somebody that you can pay. And here's the reason why I've watched too many agents over the years commit to doing accountability with another agent in the office. And it's like a free accountability and it ends up just being either a gossip session or it just drops off all completely and they don't do it. So I recommend either paying for one, finding someone that's outside your industry, or another thing that I like for people to do is if you do find someone in your office where you're like, I think this is gonna be a good accountability partner, put some skin in the game, okay? What I mean by that is, is write them a check. When you show up to that accountability, write them out a check for $1,000. And that check says, if I don't complete my tasks for this next week, that person gets to cash that check, okay? put some skin in the game. Otherwise, I, I pr I've just never seen accountability work. I'm certain somebody has some kind of anecdotal evidence for me, but I've never seen accountability work for free between two agents. So put some skin in the game, up it even more if you want to, make it a $5,000 check to make sure that you do those tasks. Continued in the next video.